we're going to take a look at how to get a feed burner onto your WordPress page. To get started, we're going to go into Google and we're going to put in feed burner. At the very top of the page, you'll see feedburner.com and we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to ask for your Google account, so go ahead and put in your Google account name. If you don't have one already, go ahead and create an account. And it's going to go into a My Feeds screen. Now I don't have any feeds right now, so what I'm going to do now is go into my box, and I've already copied and now I'm going to paste the name of my blog into the box. Now you can also check I am a podcaster and you're going to check that if you could be possibly posting videos or music or anything like that on your blog. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I am a podcaster and I'm going to click on next. Now in my case it comes up that I have more than one feed at that address. I'm just going to go ahead and use my first one and I'm going to click next and it tells me that it's going to apply some of the most popular services to my feed and it'll also activate my feed burner account and I can set up some optional traffic statistics so my feed title right now is going to be tiny rooms blog and my feed address is going to be right in this box and I'm going to click next and now my feed burner is live now there's an option right up here that says if you want to dress it up a little bit and you can subscribe to your feed and others. It's also gone ahead and applied SmartCast, Browser Friendly, and FeedBurner stats to my page. And we've completed steps one of three. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on Next. And this is basically our podcasting and iTunes how-to list. We're going to create podcast enclosures from links to any rich media file. I'm going to include iTunes podcasting elements and we can also include our media RSS information and podcast in Yahoo search which I'm going to go ahead and leave checked. My blog doesn't contain any explicit content so I'm going to click on no and I'm going to type in my copyright message. And you can also go ahead and put your podcast author in there and click next and then it's going to give us options uh, to do traffic statistics from our feeds. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and click Tell Me More About All Feed Burner Stat Statistics. You can also decide if you want to do click-throughs, which is how often the people go through the items at your site. You can do item enclosure downloads or podcast downloads. And you can also choose to have Feed Burner Stats also track your individual items, syndication, and how many people viewed or clicked through the contents on your feed. We know that FeedBurner is already going to be checking circulation, readership, and uncommon issues. So I'm going to click Next. And it says now my feed is ready for the world. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And this gives me some more information about publicizing, optimizing, analyzing, monetizing, and troubleshootizing. A little sense of humor for you there. So let's go ahead and click through these different tabs you're going to see a tab called Smart Feed and this is going to ensure that we are compatible with as many different browsers as possible and right now it's inactive but I'm going to go ahead and click activate so any feed reader application can read it next I'm going to go right up underneath my name and I'm going to click on edit feed details right in here you can change the name of your feed if you want to you can also put in the address of your original feed and your feed address you can save the feed details or you can cancel it and not make any of those changes. I'm just going to click on Save Feed Details. And then I'm going to go into an option called Feed Flare. Feed Flare is going to let your subscribers email you, tag you, share your content with their friends, etc. And this is going to be put in a footer at the bottom of each content item. So what you're going to do is go through the Feed Flare and you're going to check each of these that apply to what you're doing with your blog. So I'm going to click on email this and I'm also going to add it to delicious Then I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to click on activate. I'm going to go to the bottom of the page and I'm going to click save. So now that I've added my feed I'm going to go ahead back to my plugins I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to go under tools. When you're ready to see what your feed is going to be, we're going to go right over here to the left under view and click on your feed. 
and it shows me that so far I have one feed message because that's all I've published to my blog page. One last thing that I'm going to show you is our browser friendly, which is going to make subscribing easier for anybody who's watching your feed. This is going to allow you to choose your podcast theme. It's also going to choose which subscription options are going to be displayed on your landing page. Then we're going to choose your content items so you can have the item titles and the content, the item titles only, or don't list any items. Now I'm going to leave mine on list feed items and content. You can go ahead and choose a personal message if you wish to as well. Just go ahead and type it in. And you're going to hit save. So let's go ahead back into the blog and let's go ahead and make a post and then we'll check and see where the feeds went. I'm going to add a new post. And I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. I'm going to view post just so I can make sure it's up. And then I'm going to go ahead into my blog and check my feed. Once you get your whole feed burner site set up, then you can go into your analyze screen and it's going to give you your dashboard. It's going to show you the different days that you're using. It's going to show you the different views that you have. Now mine is too new for it to have given me any statistics yet, but this is where I would go ahead and take a look at how it works. I'm going to click on configure stats as well, and then I'm going to decide which of my feeds I'm going to track. So we can either look at item views or item link clicks, or enclosure downloads, which is any of our podcasts. So that's how we go ahead in and make our feedburner.com membership. I hope this helped you out, and we'll see you at the next tutorial.